and welcome to the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and I hope that you're having a great day today. Today, we will be looking at Matthew chapter 13, verses 1 through 9. On that day, Jesus went out of the house and sat down by the sea. Such large crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat down, And the whole crowd stood along the shore, and he spoke to them at length in parables, saying, A sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seed fell on the path, and birds came and ate it up. Some fell on rocky ground, where it had little soil. It sprang up at once, because the soil was not deep, and when the sun rose, It was scorched, and it withered for lack of roots. Some seed fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked it. But some seed fell on rich soil and produced fruit, a hundred or sixty or thirty-fold. Whoever has ears ought to hear. Today in the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 13, verses 1 through 9, we hear Jesus preaching the parable of the sower. This parable, told by Jesus during his teaching ministry, is included in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke. We hear of the sower, God, spreading his seed, word, and grace across the landscape. In the end, it is only the seed that falls on rich soil that produced fruit a hundred or sixty or thirty-fold. The unsaid but implied message is that God's Word will only survive, thrive, and bring forth an abundant crop when planted in a rich heart, a heart which is rich to hear, rich to accept, rich to live, rich to promote, rich to exhibit, rich to sacrifice, rich to be humbled, rich to obey, rich to share. Jesus says, whoever has ears ought to hear. In other words, this message is for everyone. He encourages those who hear to make their hearts the rich soil into which God's word is planted. As I reflect on the arc of my life over my years, I'm thinking about the times when my heart has been rich soil and times when perhaps it has not. And I ask myself, what constituted the differences in my life when the soil was rich and fertile and when it was a worn path? rocky soil, or full of weeds and thorns. In the case of the non-rich soil in my life, was it the people I had surrounded myself with? Was it my belief and belief systems? Was it I acting out against God? Had I been hurt? Was it I purposefully ignoring God? Was I fed up with what I saw as the hypocrisy of it all? Was it taking a break and doing me? Or was it something else? What was going on in my life to create that non-rich soil in my heart? At the same time, what was going on in my life when my heart was rich soil? What were the behaviors, the attitudes, the actions, the practices, the disciplines the choices that I was making that created an environment for that rich soil in my heart. Today in the Gospel of Matthew, we hear Jesus giving the parable of the sower from a boat to a large crowd. They had gathered there to drink in his word and his teachings. And that has me all thinking that the type of soil I create in my heart is my choice. It is my choice 
if his word finds a place to produce fruit a hundred or sixty or thirty fold in my heart. Today's scripture tells us that he has cast his seed at my heart. The question is, what type of soil will it find there? Thank you for joining the Daily Scripture Podcast. My name is Jerome Lavelle, and remember, our word of the day is, what type of soil am I creating in my heart? Until next time, be well and be blessed. <laughs>